Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show has action out of the NL Central. It's the Cincinnati Reds and the Milwaukee Brewers. First pitch coming your way next. All right, just about set to go. And on the hill, Corbin Burns. Boogie pitched into the seventh, earned the W in his last start. He really needed that one. Well, his team needs another one today. We'll see if he can carry that performance into this game. Welcome back. Bottom half of inning number two. Now it's the second baseman, Nicholas the Dude. Green back to work. That's in there. Strike one. Hunter Green has a long way to go before he's the most famous baseball player from his high school. Mike Stanton went to Notre Dame High School in Sherman Oaks, California. Of course, now we know him as John Carlos Stanton. Ed Drummond, our umpire behind the plate in this one. Yeah, Boogie's a really fair umpire, both the pitchers and the hitters. So standard strike zone, he's consistent with it. And the great thing is you don't see players questioning the calls too much. So that's a good thing in this day and age. Out to short. The throw to first, and quickly one away in the second. Chris, do players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware? So digging in, Nicholas the dude grounded out his first time. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and, well, plays made there, and that retires the side. One run in the inning, but they leave two. Three innings complete. It's the Reds three, and the Brewers one. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now it's the right fielder, Will Benson. On the mound, he had a little trouble back in the first, but it's been a different story the rest of the way. Really settled into this outing nicely. Burns back to work. Right side, hard hit. Tosses to first, and a quick out number one. Up next for Cincinnati, the designated hitter, TJ. Out, three. Three. Nicholas the Dude up now for the Brewers. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Still only one out here in the inning. Swing and a miss. And it's a ball and a strike. The pitch. And there's a rocket into the outfield. So a man aboard now with one away. He was all over that one. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Vic Caratini at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Here goes the runner. They pitch out. Throw to second. Tag. And they got him. That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. Three. Three. Out. He's out. Got him. 
your attention, please. Now, pitching for the blue. Number 55, Hobie Milner. Ellie De La Cruz now getting ready to hit the third switch hitter batting right. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out. Bader runs. Pitch in for a strike. Throw save. That's a stolen base. When your catcher's not a great thrower, you have to do a better job of controlling the running game, and that's throwing over, that's stepping off, doing whatever you can to try to keep that base dealer's rhythm off. Well, they weren't able to do it right now. Up now for Milwaukee, oh, Nicholas the Dude, one for three. Nicholas. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Oh, well, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. A little anxious, a little aggressive early in the count. Too much for me. Going 2 now. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Terang, the lead runner out at second. Telez at first, two out of the inning. Going to count one and two. Middle. That's a base hit. Around third. Here comes the throw. It's offline. The run comes in. And it's a one-run game. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. The pitcher on here, Buck Farmer. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. And now the catcher comes up to him. Victor Caratini, one for two. My drive, that's a base hit. And they hold the tying run at third. Throw up the stop sign, even with two away. No, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing in the bat in this ball game. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Now that sets up a huge at bat in this ball game. Now here is Garrett Mitchell in there for strike one. Big spot, two out, both the tying and go-ahead runs are aboard. Next pitch is outside. Swing and a ball popped up. Steer makes the grab and that'll end the inning. So they get one, but end up leaving the bases loaded. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Reds five and the Brewers four. Three. Three. So two down, and the batter now, Tyler Stevenson. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Pug, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Ground ball right side. Oh, he gloves it. Over to first. They get the out, and that'll do it. That was a great job of doing the math. He had the perfect angle. Diving stop completes the play, and that ends the inning.
Bet it first. Nevada. Nicholas the dude Second will hit next. Now, Boog, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. In there, and it's 0 1. Late in the game, everyone gets a little tighter. Way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. And a pitch. This to third. Ball game. It's always nice to grab the opener of a series. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. The background isn't what you like. But they didn't let any of those things distract them. In fact, they looked like they were playing a home game. Excellent job to set the tone for this series. And this one ends with a final score of 6-4. to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.